Okay, I've got the um, I've got the drive shafts cleaned up as best I can. Remove this all the rubber as best as I could. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any um, acetone. Acetone would probably be very handy right about now to give them a good clean and get rid, rid of the rest of it. Um, but I'm pretty happy with what I've got sitting there at the moment. Um, with the drive shafts, though, there is a small notch. I might be able to pick things up there on the video. See, there's a small notch on each side around about the middle of the screen there um, there where my thumb is um, there's a notch on either side those notches actually line up there's a small notch on the side of the drive shaft you can't quite see it well but I'll try and put my thumb in front of it oh, just about there just where my thumb is rotate it around hopefully you can see it um, now that there's one of those there's a notch there and there's a notch the same on the other side of the drive shaft as well when they go together, um, you must line up that notch on the drive shaft with the other notch on the other side of the drive shaft um, because if we don't do that, the drive shaft won't move in and out nice and easily. Um, so now what we need to do is we just need to go and slide the rubber boot over both sides of the drive shaft, put some glue around the outside. Um, after, of course, I'll give this. You just need to give these fellas a bit of a wash on the inside first. I'll just use a bit of warm, warm soapy water, let them dry off, put a rubber boot on glue it back in the place with some CA glue and we're all finished.